in this video i am going to discuss about what is information value and how do we uh, calculate the information value information value measures the overall overall strength of the variables um, so we can compare the predictive power of uh, different variables using the information value so it is uh, nothing but the sum of the absolute uh, values of the wi over all groups so this is nothing but the sum of the uh, absolute value of the uh, wi values uh, in the previous video um, on wi we have uh, discussed about how to calculate the uh, weight of evidence so using the uh, same values we can uh, calculate what is the information value of the variable the formula that is used to calculate uh, information value is like this it's the summation of uh, summation across all the groups the distribution of goods minus the distribution of bags which is nothing but the percentage of goods minus the percentage of bags multiplied to uh, the uh, logarithm of distribution of goods by distribution of bags or the percentage of goods by percentage of bags remember one thing here that uh, uh, in the previous video we have uh, shown that uh, it's the log so when we write log here the base is uh, the e in this case is not taped so that's one thing to remember so better to use uh, log instead of log so uh, we can uh, use this formula to come up with the value of uh, the iv if the uh, information value is less than 0 0.02 so uh, the variable is not useful for modeling if it lies between 0 0.02 to 0 0.1 then it's a weak predictor uh, if it lies between 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 then it's a, a predictor of medium strength and if it lies between 0 0.3 uh, and above then uh, it has a strong relationship the variable has a strong relationship with the dependent variable so it's a good predictor so let us uh, learn how to calculate the uh, information value uh, we will use the same data uh, that we have uh, used in the video for uh, weight of evidence i have just made slight change to ensure that none of the woe values is, is zero uh, i have got two variables one is the dependent variable uh, good bad indicator and the independent variable which is age now we have done the grouping here uh, less than 25 25 to 30 and then greater than 30 so this is the uh, grouping for the variable age and then we have the corresponding bad and good numbers total number of bads and total number of good in each one of these groups and then uh, the percentage of uh, bads and the percentage of good and their corresponding uh, weight of evidence values so weight of evidence is the logarithm of percentage of good by percentage of bad so uh, going by the formula that we have learned in the previous slide what we can do is that we can just take the difference of uh, good percentage minus bad percentage and then multiply it to the uh, wi values if we go back we have seen that the second term in this formula is nothing but the wi value so this is the law of distribution of good by distribution of bad which is nothing but the wi value you can just multiply this value with the uh, difference in the uh, percentage of good minus percentage of bad so uh, we have the percentage of good and bad so we have taken the difference and just multiplied it to the corresponding wi value so the first group is the, the iv value is 0 0.04 uh, and for the next it's 0 0.004 and for the last uh, is 0 0.04 again so uh, when we add it up what we get is 0 0.0985 so this is the final uh, information value or the cumulative information value for this variable so uh, based on this value we can pre uh, we can say that whether this uh, variable is a good variable or not so going by the uh, criteria it's uh, it's a, a variable of medium strength uh, we can still use this variable for model but however it's, it's not a variable of high strength so using the information value we can compare um, two to three different variables or even more variables and then select the best set of variables which are, uh, are of uh, which are having a high predictive power so in the next video i'll talk more about the uses of information value and the weight of evidence uh, and then how we can use these uh, concepts or techniques uh, in order to uh, build uh, better predictive models thank you